In a crucial decision regarding the right to abortion that has divided the U.S., the United States Supreme Court reversed the 1973 Roe v. Wade judgment by a majority of 6-3 on Friday up until now. Abortion was a constitutional right. And in the first 24 weeks of pregnancy, women in America had the choice of getting an abortion. However, overturning the landmark judgment allows all 50 states in the country to decide whether to ban abortion or not. Most conservative, Republican-governed states are expected to impose a ban on abortion. American public figures have not shied away from calling out the decision of the Supreme Court and world number 12 Coco Gauff has strongly criticized the ruling. The 18-year-old made the point that the decision will not put an end to abortions and that there will be an increase in illegal and unsafe abortions. Incredibly disappointed by the decision made today. The sad part is this will not stop abortions from happening. This will only increase illegal and unsafe abortions. Today is a very sad day for our country and I cannot believe once again history is repeating itself," Goff wrote. America's former world number one Andy Roddick also slammed the decision, stating that the party that supported the decision has won the popular vote only once in the last 30 years. Scottis ruling for an opinion supported by a party which has won the popular vote once in the last 30 years, once, Roddick wrote on Twitter. Naomi Osaka, who was at the forefront of the Black Lives Matter movement amongst tennis players in 2020, expressed her disappointment by sharing former President Barack Obama's tweet harshly criticizing the ruling. Today, the Supreme Court not only reversed nearly 50 years of precedent, it relegated the most intensely personal decision someone can make to the whims of politicians and ideologues, attacking the essential freedoms of millions of Americans. Obama wrote, I wonder if the Supreme Court would even overturn Loving v. Virginia and make my marriage illegal Alexis Ahanian. Serena Williams' husband Alexis Ahanian, an entrepreneur who co-founded Reddit, launched a series of tweets condemning the decision against abortion. Ahanian expressed his fear that the court will target same-sex and interracial marriages next. Looks likely same-sex marriage will be next. I wonder if the Supreme Court would even overturn Loving v. Virginia and make my marriage illegal like it used to be, too, Ahanian wrote.